Hello Rational Roundtable, this is Dark Tango 78 making a video response to your video The Many Faces of God. First thing I wanted to mention is that uh, your uh, thought experiment reminded me of um, of an old uh, fable uh, that's that's been along for that's been around for a long time uh, in which um, several uh, blind men are asked to inspect an elephant and they can only each touch a, a different part so one of them touches the the leg for example and says uh, that the object resembles a column and the other one touches the tail and says that uh, the object must there must resemble uh, a brush and another one touches the tusks and says that it resembles a plow and so they all bicker about uh, what the object really is when uh, they can't possibly imagine what it actually is, which is uh, an elephant. Um, so that being, s I'll put a link, by the way, in the in the sidebar for anybody that wants to uh, read about the fable, and it appears in many different um, in many different uh, uh, cultures. And um, essentially, the the essentially the uh, the message is that. Nobody has access to the whole truth, and, and therefore, um, uh, I guess we should keep an open mind. That being said, um, I have a couple of points that I want to uh, mention regarding your experiment. Um, and, and, uh, this is the first one. Neither the light in your experiment, nor the brains of M-theory, nor the elephant are intelligent agents that will something from us. So imagine if your clone said, the light is red, and it told, us, uh, it told me that we should stone anyone who says it isn't. Now, should the other clone take his word for it, or would you agree that he has every right to be skeptical about that claim? And secondly, by your own examples, uh, it seems that you would agree that if a, uh, if a hypothesis explains all observations consistently, then it should be preferred. So um, uh, this this is what you mentioned about the the the, the unifying uh, uh, M theory that uh, took in all other aspects of the other theories and 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 integrated them, or, or in the case of the spectrum or the prism that explains why one sees a red and the other one sees green. Uh, so that explanation, if it came up, should be preferred. So what about uh, the more or less standard atheistic position that religion comes out of hyperactive agency detection and confirmation bias and other clearly observable aspects of human nature? Now that, that this hypothesis explains the origins, the mutual contradictions, uh, so why don't you prefer it as an explanation? 